A mayor is judging how well they handle their police department. Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs talks about safety. You have to build from safety. When people don't feel safe, then the rest of their life will not be able to self-actualize. Who cares if you fix up all the streets and have all the business come in and beautify everything else? If you don't feel that you're going to be allowed to enjoy it or appreciate it, and you're going to be in a funeral and you're going to be in a gravesite, then what's the point? There's subcultures within our city that don't feel safe. We don't feel safe. We don't trust the process. We don't trust the people. We don't feel safe. And that stems from the timeline of events that have been taking place um, over the last at least 10 years that I know of. In 2012, he demoted a, a very popular African-American police chief. When he went into uh, the chief police, then Daryl Boykin's office, and reprimanded him without any uh, due process of public opinion. And then he brought in an outsider in, and then within six months, this same new police chief is under investigation for not backing up a black officer on a shots fired call, has the state police do an investigation, and then seals the report from the public. So, you know, a lot of us who hear these ideas of transparency and accountability saw one of his very first actions was not to have his own police chief be, you know, held to that level of transparency and accountability. If he had cleared it up in 212, many t people would have blamed the former mayor. But the longer he kept it, it became his problem, his issue. And you don't hear the former mayor being blamed, even though a lot of those actions prob probably happened on the former mayor's watch. I would love to see South Bend be that city that everybody in the country can point to across the country and say, this is how people live in community. This is what community is all about. This is how you solve your problems. We can't wait for people in Washington to step in and fix things. They don't want to fix things. They just want to tell us who's to blame for it. We can always do more to reach out to all the citizens within South Bend and also with the police department. You know, I've been on three collective bargaining agreements with the police department. You know, what we do is try to strive for more and better for the police department, including diversity within uh, the police department. That's one concern I have. Um, and how do we do that? That's the tough question right now. Any social sector where you are communicating with people that are different than you based on race, religion, gender, whatever it is, if it's a social sector, then some type of assessment should be used to make sure that you are able to participate with people that are different than you, that there's no bias. And if there are bias, then we can do some training, more training, some tailored training for those that need more. South Bend, we got Notre Dame, we got a lot of great things here. We have downtown that's born. But what was not portrayed is the fact that it was almost like we lived in fairy tale world. I haven't seen them uh, going to the neighborhoods and this, this. Now, I don't see them educating people. I don't see that. They didn't make the city look nice. Yeah, they, you know, green bikes, the line bikes. Uh, that's about all I really know, man. But anybody know him? Uh, no, I don't know if anybody knows him or not. I don't know anybody that does know him. Mayor Pete, I mean, be for your people. If you want to be president, now is the time for you to see if you're going to be the president of the United States in all these 50 states. Everybody ain't going to have love for you. And you're going to have to show and approve yourself.